Phoning it in, bud. How are you? We're great, man. It's been, it has to be tough on you. A lot of rain this week, a lot of subpar golf. You must have been kind of slugging through a long week of golf, huh? I guess, man. Who even wants to play golf? That's my question. I, uh, I actually missed my cousin's circumcision for this. I was in the city doing a shell game with a couple of buddies, and uh, I got a twit that said, um, A, we're on Beth Plage Black at the seventh hole. I thought it was a porn, so I drove out here, and uh, apparently there's a lot of golf going on. But not much sex. Yeah, not a, well, there's a little bit. I caught a BJ in a sand trap. Oh. Yeah, and I wouldn't recommend that. But he, Glover won, uh, but the news is that he's not black. That was the surprising news. I was like, Glover, not black. That's a bigger story. No relation to Danny out there. No relation to Danny or mm. Leroy Glover, actually, who retired today after 13 seasons in the NFL. Nice. Now, not to bring up a touchy subject for you, but you mentioned that BJ in the sand trap. Any sign of crabs? Um, not here. Uh, Phil Mickelson lost. Uh, he came in second. Um, I don't know if he has crabs or not. Uh, his wife has cancer, though, and we wish her well. Much more serious disease. Nice. Uh, any? Uh, did you get? A, did you get to meet any of your favorite players out there? Anybody you were looking forward to meeting? No, I saw uh, John Sally with a couple of white chicks. Uh, so that was pretty cool, and I got one of their autographs. <laughs> so the girls he hangs out with can actually write their own names now. Uh, yeah, it wasn't in cursive. <laughs> You're and what's, horrible. It's not. Yeah, he's first time covering golf. I take it. Yeah, definitely my first time covering golf, and hopefully my last. There's a lot of cars here driving back on the course, too, which is really dangerous at this, uh, at this hour. They're actually about to film a uh, Subaru commercial out here, uh, which actually might be more exciting than this year's U.S. Open. Which would you take character would you love to be, <laughs> beat the shit out of, dude? I don't know if I can beat a lot of people. I think I could beat that dude from The Mask. You ever seen that movie Mask with Rocky Dennis? I could fight that dude, I bet. Who else? Probably Rosie O'Donnell. That's not a fictional character. That's a real person. Depends on who you ask, bro. <laughs> I used to have this one line. In hindsight, this shit is horrible. I was like, uh, let's play Hiroshima. I'll lay on my back and you blow the shit out of me. Oh, Welcome. yeah. Welcome. You know, um, I didn't know. Oh, you knew. Uh, I did and I didn't. You knew there was a snake in the mail, did you? you? Accusations. Anyway, we got the human embodiment. Here, I'm going to make a sound, and you tell me if it reminds you of you going to the post office, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it seems familiar. Snag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's my slippers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Well, that reminds so, you of waiting in line at the post office, Bubby. So, um, Theo Vaughn. Oh, you little spiked skunk. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> Oh, hey, bro. Hey, bro, don't call me that. You want to bring a swordfish to a gunfight, you little piss guppy? <laughs> huh? Don't say that. Piss guppy. I'm a piss guppy. You sent me those dirty dishes and you sent the snake, Bubba. First of all, I don't know where, where the fuck you live in Nashville. Number two, it's like, why would I, if I was going to, were they poisonous, the snakes? The snake was a rat snake, Bub. Right, Bub. And did, I can they kill you, Bub? Huh? Can they kill you, Bub? They can't kill me. <laughs> why? Huh? You, can, they, you only send one. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. If you want to kill me, Papa, <laughs> you need to send mass. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so I would have sent maybe <clears throat> 10 of them, right? And they're more poisonous than the whatever the gutter one. Was that the rat one? What's the gutter? Whatever the rat snake, what I could send them? It was a rat snake. Rat snake. I would have. It was a box of. It was a dishes that, that was sent. You know this. It was dishes that was sent. It was little uh, <laughs> Chinese little cups or something yeah. like, kind of shaped like this and had those spoons that also has a, you know the spoon y'all have that has a bowl on the end? It's kind of fucking cheating, honestly, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> just the really deep ones? Yeah, it's like, dude, just. Oh, you mean for the soup? <laughs> yeah, for yeah, whatever. They're, yeah, they're soup fucking spoons, bro. Bro. It's not a bowl. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> whatever you want to do. With them. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> These, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, a spoon. <laughs> it's a spoon. Yeah, yeah, whatever, dude. These fucking little pinoy ladles, you know. What I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, dude. Uh -huh. The things you scoop up all your bullshit. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's a box of little Asian dishes. They're all wrapped in newspaper. Uh huh. So I open it up. There's no return address. It's from Los Angeles, but there's it says on the sticker thing, but there's no. Um, return address so i'm like oh i wonder who sent this 
literally, I go do some other stuff in my house. I come back over there three minutes later, and there's a snake right outside of it that's moving around in my home. Wow. Where I live, Bubby. <laughs> wow. Wasn't that funny? I thought, who do I know that's Chinese or semi-Chinese? Yeah, but I'm not Chinese, though. S- semi? A uh, semi-Chinese. I am semi-Chinese. semi-Chinese. <laughs> but if you played your cards right, you could have been. <laughs> All right. Full. You mean before I even came to Earth? I'm just saying, dude. <laughs> if you do your BTS fucking work, you fucking show up like you want. Right. Okay. I fucked it up up there, huh, before I came I'm to Earth. I'm not saying that, but right. it's been said. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay? I'm All just right. saying, So don't I, send me snake, bro. All right, bro. My bad, dude. Good. Okay. I, I was going to get a chuckle, but my bad, dude. Very scary. Yeah. Okay. You know how hard it was to get that snake? Huh? I had to go all the way to Monterey Park to get that thing. Okay. (laughs) There was a restaurant over there. There are Mexican people dressed up like Asian people selling snakes. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Half that park is a bunch of Asian. And finding your address was tough, bro. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's public knowledge. Okay. (laughs) All right. But you know what? I thought it was going to be funny, but I apologize, man, if it scared you a little bit. Theo, you have any issues with lesbian, or are they all good with you because you look like them? First of all, Brendan, uh, you look like a f- fucking... Get it out, buddy. I don't have it. That's the problem. I've used it all <laughs> on so many episodes of this show. But I do want to say yes. I, I, I feel like I'm okay with lesbians, man, but I've never... Look, I'll be honest. My first interaction with lesbians, we had a couple of lesbians live across the street from us. And they used to try to sync their lights up with the uh, with the radio station, and they couldn't make it happen. And it was crunch time. It was Christmas Eve, and they ended up fist fighting in the yard. And one of them worked at the library. And uh, and ever since then, and I did donuts in their fucking yard a couple days later. And ever since then, we've been on the rocks. But you were in Asia, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's not Asia. It's Vietnam. Vietnam. Do you go to brothels ever? No, you've never been to a brothel. Here's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what happened. So I got to Vietnam, right? Right. And we get to Vietnam, and um, and the taxi driver, we just wanted to go see anything, right? And we get in, and the first thing they do is take you to a place where you can buy sex if you want it, if you want mm-hmm. sex, you know? And I was 22 years old, I think, when this happened. So <clears throat> who knows if I wanted it or, or not. So anyway, this guy takes us. We don't know that, though. We think he's just, you know, we told him, like, oh, take us to a supermarket, take us to Star Hotel, take us to some, you know, um, the uh, American War. That's what they called it there, right? So so this guy's driving us. He drops off. It's a pet shop. So we go in, and they got fucking pets. You know what I'm saying? And, I'm, you know, I grew up around pets, and, you know, I know about some pets. And I'm like, oh, this would be great, you know, see what pets they have over here. And so they have um, large parrots parakeets and parrotlets which are small parrots <laughs> and so we're fucking looking at all these parrots and shit next you know what my buddy kind of moves into the back of the there's like a curtain and he moves back behind there and next thing I know my other buddy and this other this lady comes out and gets me and him next thing you know we're all back there and it's a uh, prostitution and they doing prostitution oh. and so they got the birds up front and it's just a it's a decoy Mm. you know the birds are just up there faking it none of them even want to go home to new people's homes <laughs> and in the back they're trying to suck you out what do you mean yeah trying to suck S- you out of your dick suck you out man. Like, suck, <laughs> literally, oh literally yeah suck you out suck the essence out of you yeah mm. through your dick hole yeah yep. yeah, yeah they're trying yeah. to suck you out of your dick just like normal like they do in america but they're trying to do it there yeah and they're hiding behind pets doing it yeah and that that honestly broke my heart <laughs> it did yeah because these animals don't know that <laughs> yeah, they don't. They don't. Yeah, it's animal. They wake up every day thinking they got a chance to find a new home. <laughs> <laughs> right. Little do they realize. Yeah. Sucking back. <laughs> that the yeah, that just twenty, thirty feet away in a little bit of drywall. Yeah. You know, and a cash register that people are sucking people out of each other. Would what? you take four million dollars to be on to catch a predator? Um, I would take it, uh, I would take about seven hundred dollars back because Chris Hansen was on my podcast and he tried to run up a bunch of hotel bills with spa stuff, extra spa treatments and stuff like that. So Chris Hansen tried to fuck me on about seven hundred thirty dollars. You know, getting rose petals and shit, motherfucker. Well, I don't shouldn't have called you names, but I wouldn't do that to you, and I would appreciate that. You know, you shouldn't try to do that to to us because we're trying to be. You know, some patty coat. Oh, it's like well, people in the, this country had a disease, right? Mm-hmm. And they're all going to die. What's my favorite disease? No, the only <laughs> and the only way to cure it is if you suck my dick. Mm-hmm. Would you suck my dick? I'm talking about billions of people, bro. Well, billions of people, what? 
What do you mean what? Well, you said like, <laughs> basically you said, would you suck my, my dick? dick? <laughs> Bill, you like it's a people? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what does he mean? Watching? No, I'm just what? saying though there was some sort of dis- you know, some disease in the country, right? Do you really have a dick? I bet you have like a kazoo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> makes no you know, would, you, would you suck it though to save <laughs> millions of people's lives or what? I mean, uh, here's what I would do. I yeah. wouldn't suck it. Yeah, but if uh, someone else sucked it. You know, and it was late, late at night. I might smell their breath really fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you would do that? Yeah. Oh, but that, hope that, that I wouldn't live. cure the disease. That would cure probably 100 people maybe. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. as long as I'm one of those 100, then that's fine with me, dude. Well, ask, ask the reverse. Would I suck your dick for a fucking... For billions? Yeah. Would do they ask me? Would you suck my dick for a little... For, for 70, 80 bucks? What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> That's it? Yeah. 70, 80 bucks? Not save the Dude, world? Well, you're Never not gonna just give me 80. Can you just give me 80? <laughs> okay, sure. <God. laughs> yeah. Wow, dude. Yeah, for, get, round it out to 100. What about for a cheat code on uh on that Bejeweled game you play or whatever? <laughs> Ooh. 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 That's time. What tempting. about for Mystery Levels? Would you suck dick for Mystery Levels? <laughs> Yo, Shaw, Brennan Vaughn, what up? This is Tyler from Virginia Beach. Big fan. Yeah. I got a king it or sing it or maybe even a rip my drip for you. You decide. The 80s are coming back. That's why everyone's rocking these ridiculous ass sunglasses, right? So I got one for you. Brandon, you're all about that high fashion. That's why you stay rocking that romper, right? So how you feel about dudes bringing it back? Bringing back that men's crop top. Ooh. Ooh. That half t-shirt hitter. Hitter, baby. Gang, yeah. gang. Buzz, buzz. Ooh, crop tops top. What do you to think on this man? When well, you see this man, Tim, what do you think of this man? He sucked dick for coke. Uh, <laughs> now that's not a gay man, but he has sucked dick <laughs> for a gram of cocaine. So that is the perfect outfit. On the segue, he says, "Hey, I'm not gay, but I will suck dick for coke <laughs> in Virginia Beach." So if you're a businessman and you're at a convention somewhere in Virginia, and you're staying at a hotel and you find yourself on a certain website at a certain hour of night. Uh, that guy's showing up to your hotel room, and uh, you're going to get to suck this guy off, <laughs> and you're going to give him $200, and he's going to leave, and he's going to go to fucking uh, Waffle House and just fucking live. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what that guy's life is. <laughs> and by the way, if it isn't, it should be, and it's tragic. <laughs> it's oh, sad definitely. or if he's not doing that. This guy will give you a blowjob with his butthole. I know that. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, speaking of Wolf House, I took my sister who I hadn't seen in a year and a half. We met up at Wolf House over the holidays. Uh. And we sit in there. We have some coffee. We finally order. A woman comes over, a young woman of uh, different dialect maybe. And she's like, uh, we're like ordered. She's like, can't you fucking see the chef quit a half hour ago? And we're like, oh, uh, fuck. Uh, no, we can't. We didn't notice that. It's Christmas Eve. We're sitting in here, and we're like, well, do you know when she's going to be back? She'll be like, well, Tiffany's outside smoking, and she ain't fucking happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll wait. We'll wait. So we waited, bro. But um, anyway, yeah, this guy uh, definitely looks like um, Postmates for his own. He looks like Postmates for his own semen. That's what he looks like. Yeah. I mean, this is the definition of if that was your son. Oh, dude. If that was your son. Dude. Let me tell you right now. Dude. If that was your son and you had to look at that guy. I'd rather him storm the castle. I mean, the level of drunk you would have to be. I mean, just Down syndrome drunk. Like, can't even oh, yeah. feel your spine drunk every time you see that man, that guy at Thanksgiving. L5S what? I don't know, dude. Yeah, I agree <laughs> with you, man. That guy, look, first of all, I think the guy's a beautiful, seem like a nice guy. Um, beautiful young guy, you know, obviously. Pr- pr- trying to get through college, trying to make it after college. Maybe. And, yeah, uh, there's no way. He's, I don't think so, Bubba. He's never gone anywhere near a college. Uh, just count down the days to yeah. spring break. <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe, best case, he's in a technical school by the side of a highway. Best case, he's learning to be an air conditioning repairman. At a technical oh, school, which he hasn't showed up to in two weeks, <laughs> and his mother has left cell phone messages saying, we're fucking paying for this. We're paying okay? for IDT tech. Yeah, Brett, <laughs> we're paying for this. Are you doing okay? <laughs> this is the type of guy that disappears for a year. You, he, he uploads song lyrics at 1 a.m. on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Then everyone's like, oh, he's in trouble. The comments on the page are like, where are you? He disappears for a year, and then he reemerges 
with a blurry photo of himself standing on a hill and a Bible quote. <laughs> That's who this guy is. That's his future. <laughs> Uh, (laughs) oh man holy shit dude yeah yeah yeah, definitely man man. bro this guy seems he seems like he could get a job as a crystal ball at richard simmons birthday party (laughs) (laughs) that guy is not really doing too well But he seems like a nice guy, man. And look, man, we're happy he's in a video, bud. <laughs> so here's what I'm saying is, all right? Ba, 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 ba. So then what type, if there's somebody in the podcasting world. That I would. That uh, you feel like you would have to at least. Shack up with. Not shack up. Jesus Christ. Have some oh. respect for yourself. Right. <clears throat> Savings over. <laughs> who would that man, like who is the man? Is it a Brendan Shaw type of guy? Would, mm-hmm. it, would you then, you think you have to gravitate towards like <clears throat> this like burlesque kind of like um ambient sound of a man gun to my head because i would not date a single comic for the rest of my life and, <laughs> oh, dang and that's a fact <laughs> look i could get a new job <laughs> i could easily open up a bouquet shop okay, okay. i could sell bouquet man <laughs> easily <laughs> <laughs> you know i'm just trying to get you to say uh, that if something ever happened, I could buy you a malt. I look, I would I would put you on a trial period. Okay. Okay. And it's just for friendship. It's for friendship. So that we would cohabitate in the same house, different beds, different rooms, do all that. Oh, and then I'd see how you'd idea. function. Yeah. Right? I would and not then well. eventually I would see you would really have to prove yourself. I would um, not be able to. Um, but that's okay. That's all I want is the chance to not be able to prove myself. That's all. But you know what? Wants. You <laughs> might, if you were willing to, because Bobby doesn't eat ass at all, and I love oh, wow. certain certain things that he doesn't. He's not into. So if you were inclined to do stuff, he wouldn't okay. or fill some holes. Okay. You, you might. I might consider There's... cohabitation. Oh wow. Okay. So. I guess I better. Practice mm. the brown cow work at the farm. <laughs> I don't, I'm not like a chronic, I don't love it all the time, but like, you know, three times a year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean holidays. Oh, that's Holidays, different. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, some stuff I think around the holidays is real, real nice, man. Especially if people are everybody showered up and everybody's mm-hmm. in a good, good mood, you know. <laughs> I could see that. You put on some easy listening. Yeah, what type of music do you listen to if you think you have somebody kind of chewing on your butt? Do you some Kenny Rogers or something? No, I don't think I'd want anything aggressive. So it would have to be like Vashti Bunyan. Put on some Shansen music, man. Shansen. Throw on a little batch of Shansen if you can. Let's imagine this. Let's see if this feels like it would be okay for you. Thing you're into, Theo? The Shansen? No, I uh, I just know about it. I don't know a lot of instruments, but I know. Just close your eyes and <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> Now, are you thinking that you are, like, on all fours? Are you laying on your back, or how does this kind of go? I'm not into exposing my asshole on all fours in that way. It's a little bit too... um, So I'm on my back. Okay. Possibly on my side, even. I like being tipped over. Oh, wow. This sounds like Vashti Bunyan. There you go. (laughs) Yeah. And sometimes there's just so much going on, especially in our lives. You and I can never work out. Just you answered your own question, but that's insane. I feel like I mean that. Even sounds, with a, I think I gave the wrong answer then because <laughs> I just feel like that's crazy. Okay, Bobby could die any day. Can you see if Bobby's alive right now? Is there some sort of tracker? <laughs> it's just dominoes. Is a thing for Bobby. I need I need someone to pour their heart out. Oh, I'll pour it out. Honey, dude. I'll pour it out in a damn dog bowl for you. I okay? need to know. Um, no, but sometimes, like, I do wish that Bobby would be a, li- a little bit more jealous. He just yeah. has he has no jealousy for me, like, really? at all. And I think that's why I'm obsessed with him. Oh, I would be jealous, I think. Of... I would get a tattoo on myself, jealous man, for you. <laughs> if you wanted me to. Maybe if you didn't want me to, I wouldn't. And I would let you have the font. I don't do well with jealous people. I get really turned off by it. Yeah, I would get that shit. But if someone... Which someone shows... You are this loving nurturing breast 
of a goddess of a human you know you're like this breast of the lower breast of christ oh wait didn't you and want you... one of my breast implants huh i would have, I would have shit i left it at home i meant to do that oh really because the last time you were on tiger belly you're like let me have one of your breast implants you got taken out yeah, oh, yeah. Theo, you know this. I do know it. I wrote it down actually in my diary. Well, you don't have to I look very far. In a while because I'm reading something else. <laughs> you don't have to look very far to know that they've been, they're done. They used to be much bigger. They were double Ds. Oh, the, the, damn. I'm so happy that you never really noticed. That makes me so happy. I never even looked at that. Thank you. I can't even, it's hard to look at anything else but your, but you, you know, <laughs> in your entirety. Thank you. Appreciate and, uh, it. <laughs> and I love you, Bobby. And I'm just saying hello. Just saying hello to your lady. Nice to see her here today. Um, but what I'm trying to tell you, Kalila, what are we talking about? You said you wanted to talk about volcanoes and then we strayed somewhere. We'll get the job done. That's what Bobby and I do. Really? We do like um, century based like role play and stuff. See, that's awesome. Man. We, can, we can't be, we've been together for so long, for almost a decade. Like we have yeah. to be someone else for each other because the he's tired of Kalila as Kalila. Really? Yeah. Uh, I don't see how that could happen. <laughs> I have a strong urge to cradle you. You really? Yeah. Oh my God. Like a strong urge to just uh, like hold I'll do a damn you. front side piggyback. On you. <laughs> 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 that's what my finishing moves and my starting moves. <laughs> But uh, God, you have a beautiful laugh too. But put it on record that we are not each other's side pieces. Yeah, who would? I, I don't know who would ever think that. So stop Nick's writing been putting me. Putting it on those message boards. <laughs> I think. So stop messaging me asking if Theo has eaten my butt because he certainly hasn't. Yeah, and he'll I mean, tell you himself. Yeah, I mean, if I had, bro. I would know. And he would be talking <laughs> about it. It's full of flavor. Oh. And he would, he, oh, yeah. you would It'd have. like that blue ice vape. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> bro? That thing is a hitter. You know that candy that leaves your tongue all blue? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what that is. Oh, yeah. That's nice, bro. Well, that's what you should do. You should put like that bank dye like they put on the money <laughs> on your butthole. That way people would know if I had been or not. <laughs> And right now, if we can just edit in a bunch of that blue diorama, <laughs> this would be a great place to end the episode. And my mind is so